Hi everyone, Happy New Year! Can you believe I'm already posting another video? 2020 must have finally got to me somehow. So much so that I'm finally actually going to respond to a request from one of my glorious subscribers whom admittedly more than four years ago asked me to create a game in Excel. And well, Saudi, I hope you'll forgive my procrastination and to make it up to you, I want you to know that I actually intend on creating an entire playlist, slowly but surely, dedicated to you on this very topic, starting with Accelermind, a blatant ripoff of the popular Mastermind board game. But before I do, I just want to take a minute to ask people, please, please like and subscribe my videos, my channel share my videos uh, to help me uh, re-monetize my account. I still need 227 more subscribers and a lot more viewer hours. Okay, enough whining. Let's begin. So, for those of you who aren't familiar, Mastermind is a popular two-player board slash puzzle game, which you can pretty much buy anywhere. Uh, in this game, each player serves one of two roles, either acting as a code setter or a code breaker, each of whom have their own dedicated tabs at the bottom here of this workbook. First, the code setter, believe it or not, sets the code, i.e. a four color permutation using the optional colors seen to the left. And yes, you are allowed to use the same color more than once. Once the code is ready, the code breaker tries to guess the permutation one row at a time. Once they have made their first complete four-colored guess, they will receive two clues. First, we'll indicate in this column, in how many cells do you have the right color in the right spot? The second clue, alternatively, will only tell you how many cells have the right color but in the wrong spot. Hopefully, given this information, the code breaker should be able to make progressively more informed guesses until they finally guess the code 100% correctly, at which point they will then record their score and then swap roles with the code setter, remembering to then beforehand clear out your guesses in columns F through I. Gameplay continues like this until someone hits 30 guesses across mo multiple rounds. That player, sorry to say, is the loser. So, okay, so now that you know how to play, let's look into how I went about building this. And don't worry, I will post a link to a viewable copy of this workbook, which I believe you should be able to then copy for yourselves as a editable version that you can then share with your friends. Now, the reason why I created this in Google Sheets as opposed to in Microsoft Excel, as my channel usually focuses, is two parts. A, I, this way I can actually share what I create with you uh, for free. And two, if you think about it, obviously you're going to want to be able to play this game on two separate machines. Now, the Code Setter tab is very simple. You have this small piece, which shows your optional six colors, along with a color usage counter. And next, obviously, you have the section where you actually make your selections using a data validation feature, like so. I select this area, go to data, data validation. The cell range is this here, the criteria is this here and we are going to reject any invalid data say by doing so this prevents people from calling this color purple or pink and trying to pass it off as a p if we hit enter here there was a problem the data you entered in cell i4 violates the di data validation rules in the cell which is why this went back to a y see with data validation, we have these nice drop-down options for people to select one of their six options. The section, of course, is capped off with a small portion, which simply counts the number of cells filled in the code selecting area, either coming up with a no or a yes. 
Okay. Also, at the last minute, I went ahead and added this section over here, which shows the setter how the code breaker is doing. Even though they don't actually have to do anything, as the worksheet will actually provide the code breaker with the feedback on the setter's behalf. This, I'll point out, is a welcome change from the analog physical version of the game, which depends on the code setter to provide accurate feedback, which is actually harder than you think when you're in their shoes. I can't tell you the number of times I've played against complete noobs whom, after I've entered several guesses, have to go back and modify past hints. I mean, oh my god, it's so frustrating. Anyways, the fun really begins in column J, with this formula, which actually isn't that bad. First, we verify that the breaker has entered four colors. Next, we basically just give them one point for each cell that is the right color in the right order. And if you look closely, you'll notice I painstakingly and intentionally placed where the code setter sets their code, F, G, H, I, in the same columns as the code breaker's guesses, F, G, H, I, just in different rows and on a different tab, which just makes understanding this formula a little bit easier. Now, right color, wrong spot is quite a bit harder, and to avoid a massively complicated nested function, I actually outsourced part of the logic to columns K through P, which should actually be hidden during actual gameplay. These columns report out how many times each color is being used in the guess. So R is red is being used once, orange is being used once, yellow once, green not, blue once, violet not. If the guess is in fact complete, this should always equal 4. In column Q, after we have verified that the breaker has made 4 selections, we then proceed to add up the minimum value between, for example, the number of reds the breaker or code setter has selected. In this case, we only used R once, and as it turns out, R was only used once, so the minimum is 1. We continue doing that for all six colors, and we add them up, total those values, and finally subtract what the value is in column J. Let's go ahead and hide this. Once the breaker solves the puzzle, you'll notice four in the right place and color, zero right color only. They will then enter the number of guesses in the little box. So this took me, for example, five guesses. They will then delete their, their guesses and then swap roles over with the code setter over and over until someone finally loses. And there you go. You now have Accelermind. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please, once again, uh, like and subscribe, share this video with others. And also, if anyone is interested, I can share with you these various promotions uh, that uh, if you take advantage of will also benefit myself either in the form of free stocks free money or free raffle tickets um, i will include a clickable link to all of these in the description below uh, thank you so much for watching take care happy new year